RVing is not all it's cracked up to be. Hey guys, it's Izzy and MJ from Endless RVing, the channel that brings you the best in RV DIYs, product reviews, RV tours, and so much more. If you're new to the channel, we invite you to subscribe below and make sure to hit the notification bell. And if you're back for another video, we thank you for joining us. Okay, COVID-19 has changed the landscaping of vacationing. Everybody wants to get into RVing now so they can self-isolate. We are going to give you five reasons why maybe you shouldn't waste your money buying an RV. And make sure you stay to the end of this video because we're going to tell you what our experience RVing has been. Okay, number one is initial cost. It doesn't matter whether it's new or used. Obviously new, you're going to lose even more. But here are some initial costs. You have the purchase of your motorhome, RV, whatever it is, okay? If you're buying used, you're going to have to factor into that purchase probably upgrades you're going to have to do. Mm -hmm. Tires, batteries, seals, whatever it may be, the list goes on and on, okay? In addition, if you have a towable, you may need the proper tow vehicle. If you have a motorhome, you may need the proper towed. That's the vehicle mm -hmm. that you're towing for newbies out there. And say you have a motorhome, you may also be purchasing the equipment to tow something, which can get very expensive, like several thousand dollars. Finally, to rain on your sunshine and your party, okay, <laughs> you have the cost of insurance, titling, registration, sales tax, right? Now, say you buy a moderate, well, I'm sorry, a cheap motorhome new, $100,000 motorhome, that's entry level. New Jersey, 7%, or almost 7% tax, we'll round it up. That is $7,000 of tax you have to pay, mm -hmm. plus your titling, plus your registration. So initial cost is huge. And after all of this, what you're left with is a depreciating asset. Absolutely. Right? There's no wise investor. There's nobody that's money savvy, mm -hmm. okay, that, that just thinks about making money that's going to tell you to buy an RV. An RV is not a money-making investment okay buy real estate <laughs> invest in the stock market okay you, you do that don't invest in an <laughs> rv if you're thinking you're going to make your money back because it's not going to happen number two things will break all right rving is very glamorized everywhere we got sucked into it that's how we started on our rv journey that oh on magazines and tv and, and online look at this beautiful life you can have especially now that traveling is a little more difficult wow let's uh, let's get an rv yeah okay great but things will break there's upkeep there's maintenance there's repairs it's it's pretty much non-stop yeah we uh recently had a trip to uh tennessee right 1500 mile round trip i was doing repairs okay now they weren't like uh stop the trip repairs right they didn't spoil our plans however we had a bracket that held a panel where a hot water heater broke uh thanks to newmar who put cheap brackets so i had to replace that right <laughs> not a big deal half hour job i was able to do it okay uh, we had a one of the cabinet doors, the door catch, they, Numar again, didn't put enough door catches on there. The door would swing open if we took a, a turn too hard, right? I had to add two more door catches, 99 cent fix, but it takes time, right? Mm -hmm. We had a windshield break. So we have a windshield on order now. Uh, it initially cracked, a repair was done, repair failed, okay? It's now spidering. We have a windshield on order. That is a $4,000 job. Thank God we have windshield insurance. It's only gonna cost us $500. But here's the reality, right? Every time we go on a trip, something needs to be repaired. And if you're not handy with stuff, well, you better have deep pockets. And adding on to what Izzy just said, number three, are you physically able and willing to get your hands dirty? Get down and dirty, right? Are you ready to get on your hands are you ready to get sprayed with stuff you're going to get dirty it's just part of the game and uh just touching a little bit more on what mj said about being physically able to do things guys rving is somewhat physical right if you have a travel trailer it can be very difficult right you have to get out you have to level that thing you got to move the jack up and that even on a motorhome it does take some physical requirements right like if you want to maintain your roof seals you got to get on the roof. If you can't climb a ladder, you can't get on the roof, right? If you don't maintain your seals, you're asking for, it's just a matter of time for you to get a water leak. Now, you can do that yourself. 
and it's gonna cost you minimal amount of money. I just redid our uh, seal on our skylight. It cost me about 30 bucks, right? It's really how much it cost me in die core an hour of my time. If I am not physically able to climb on the roof, well, I just paid an RV repairman probably $250 to do it for one skylight. There's a bunch of cutouts on that roof and it's gotta be done every year and a half to two. So just imagine how costly that can become if you're not physically able to get under your motorhome and change the oil to fix a bracket, to do whatever has to need to be done. If you're calling out a salesman each time, I'm sorry, a repairman each time at 150 bucks a visit to start, well, again, you better have some pretty deep pockets. Yeah, if money's no option, then, then great. It's just something to be aware of. Number four is cost of travel, all right? There's a lot involved with this. So number one is the fuel. Now we just went on a about 1500 mile trip, okay? We averaged around 7.8 miles per gallon about two dollars a gallon do the math it adds up the next thing is campgrounds all right campgrounds are not free in most cases all right <laughs> so you're going to have these campground fees per night the fancier the campground the fancier the fees also what you're going to want to consider is do you have the time to actually travel right it would not make sense for us to purchase such a big, you know, such a ha big purchase and have it sit in our driveway and use it one weekend out of the year. To, to us, that makes no sense, right? So it sits in the winter just because we can't drive it in the winter, but in the summer, it is out every weekend or almost every almost. weekend, okay? We have that flexibility to do that. Our, our jobs allow us to do that. However, some people are not in that situation. If, now, if you, can't, if you can't get the time off of work, and you're using it once a year, you do what you want, but it may be a bad idea to purchase an RV. For this reason, RVs need to be used. What I mean is that there are systems on an RV. They're very complicated. The more expensive they become, the more complicated they become. You have air conditioning units. If you have a motorhome, you have a, a chassis, engine, generator. The worst thing you can do with an RV is let it sit. It will just, disintegrate <laughs> it will rot out you have to use your rv and if you're not using it you're spending money on whatever note you're paying or whatever you purchased it for and you're going to be spending a lot more money on maintenance it's like a gym membership right yeah except a lot more expensive if you in the <laughs> rv world if you don't use it you will lose it and number five is will you actually enjoy it now again with these sales surging we've seen a lot on facebook and things where a people lot. are saying i bought this because it was our only way to travel and we hate it so you know maybe renting is a good idea yes. before purchasing one you have to realize you're going to be in close quarters do you hate your partner right <laughs> thank god that's not our bad case, idea if you hate your partner you go rv <laughs> right if you're used to going to hotels and getting room service guess what you're your own room service you're your maid that's it for some people who have not been camping they may realize camping is not for them right even if you go to these beautiful beautiful resorts that have swimming pools and everything else listen you're still dumping your own crap okay <laughs> you're still cleaning up after yourself i haven't seen one that's like all inclusive where you can go and just go down the buffet line and and you know stuff your face there are beachfronts one but but you're limited to like where you can drive right we can't rv to aruba mm -hmm. we can't rv to the caribbean we can't rv to europe now we can fly out there and and do that just understand you're going to be limited to where you can travel so this was not meant to scare you. This was not meant to be a negative Nelly, Nelly, like our girl in the back. Mm -hmm. um, but it's just to lay out the realities of RVing. As we said, there's so many new people entering this arena now. And just to maybe help people really think through, is this the lifestyle that they look are looking for? Yeah, it, it definitely takes a certain mindset. Things will go wrong. If you're the type of person that just panics uh, at anything, I would certainly <laughs> uh, maybe rent an RV prior okay now with that being said will we change anything no yeah no we absolutely love, love rving okay when we were driving on our last trip we were saying like we could have taken a trip from newark airport to knoxville tennessee it would have been an, an hour and 20 <laughs> minute flight you couldn't take in everything you saw going down the road the right? beauty that's out there so for us uh we would not change anything we love rving we will be rving to we can't rv anymore <laughs> That's not to say we will never take a cruise again or go to mm -hmm. the Caribbean. We will still do that also, but uh, RVing for us and for many is just, there's no other way to go. Yeah, yeah. 
Uh, if you know anybody, or if yourself are an RV newbie, or you're thinking about getting into RVing, feel free to share this video. Also, in the comments below, are you a newbie? Are you a seasoned veteran of RVing? What is your opinion of this video and RVing in general? And then to the left of us, we're gonna put our RV DIY, as well as our RV Essential Upgrade playlist. And for myself, MJ Nelly in the back, yes, she does have feelings. <laughs> we thank you guys for watching, and we'll see, see you on, on the road. road.